Hello, my name is Libby Gillespie, and we will be uh, talking about nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs today. And we're specifically looking um, through the context of The Third Story Cat by Leslie Baker. So first, let's review the different parts of speech that we've already went through in class. So a noun is a person, place, animal, or thing. A verb is an action. An adjective is a word to describe a noun, and an adverb is a word to describe a verb. First, let's talk about the noun. A noun is a name for a person, a place, an animal, or thing, which we've already talked about. A noun could be Aunt Shirley, Michael, your 10-year-old brother, your teacher Miss Finch, your crazy cousin Steve, or a poodle named Fluffy. Here's a picture to show you what a person, a place, an animal, or a thing looks like. And again, they give you more examples. So an example of a person would be Anita. An example of a place would be the forest. An example of an animal would be an elephant. And an example of a thing would be a phone. Now let's go over the nouns that you would probably see in the book that we read, The Third Story Cat. Alice is the third story cat, the main character of the story. A character is a person, or an animal in this case. The building Alice lived in. So the building in this case would be the thing, a noun. The ledge is also a thing, which would also be a noun which Alice balanced on, geraniums in the flower box, the tiger, cat, and the scary dog. Next, let's look at the verb. A verb is a word which shows action or being. It usually describes what a noun is doing. The dog needed to jump to catch the ball. I love to play outside. Mary sings songs in the shower. Here's a picture to help you go over some verbs that you might already know. So I'll just read a few on this page. Close. Dance. Hop. Kick and give. You can come back to this if you want to review some verbs. Verbs from the third story cat. So some examples of a verb from the story that we read are Alice slept off the roof, she crawled along the edge, the tiger cat surprised her, and Alice ran from the dog. Now let's go over adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. An adjective could describe how sick I felt last week, what colors the flowers are in mom's garden, and whose coats are in the closet. Here's a picture to help you look at what an adjective could be. Again, an adjective would describe a noun. So it could describe how somebody looks, how something smells, what it tastes like, how many, and how it feels. Some ex examples of adjectives in the third story cat would be the street was far away. Alice listened to the bird's beautiful song. The two cats were curious. Alice was happy to be home. Far away is describing the street. Beautiful is describing the bird's song. Curious is describing the two cats. And happy was describing how Alice was feeling. An adverb is the next and last part of speech we will go over. An adverb is a word that describes how a verb is performed. Examples of an adverb could be slowly I tiptoed down the stairs 
slowly is describing how I tiptoed. I quickly flipped the page of my book. Quickly is describing how I flipped the page. The snow drifted gracefully from the sky. Gracefully is describing how the snow drifted. Here's a picture of some adverbs. So on here it says the girl runs quickly. It's describing the mango as very sweet. Peter reads quite clearly, and quite would be the adverb. Some adverbs from the third story cat are Alice carefully walked along the edge. The dog barked loudly. Alice ran away quickly. She walked across the geraniums. So why is it important for us to learn the parts of speech? Well, it's important because we need to know these different parts of speech in order to share an experience with a friend, to share our writing with more detail, or to give our writing more detail, and to communicate our thoughts and feelings. Thanks for listening today. The next time you need to do any of these things, try to use your new knowledge about these parts of speech.